We're going to be working around fuel here, so we want to take some basic precautions. As always, you should be wearing your safety glasses, and now is a good time to get yourself a pair of chemical-resistant gloves. Work in a well-ventilated area away from any source of ignition, meaning open flame, incandescent shop lights, or hot water heaters. You should have a properly rated, fully charged fire extinguisher on hand and know how to use it. You want to have as little fuel as possible in the tank while you're doing this. So run the car to dry and then put it in the garage. And if you want, you can run it till it runs out of gas. Then you want to either remove fuse number F20, indicated by the green arrow from the fuse panel, which is the one that controls the fuse pump, or disconnect the battery. Both the fuel pump and filter are located in the fuel tank underneath the rear seat. Begin by removing the four child seat latch covers in the rear seat of the car, green arrows. Pull them straight out. It will probably take a little effort to get them out of the seat. Now pull up on the front edge of the lower seat at either end, green arrows, and take the lower seat out of the car. Shown here are the two plates that allow access both to the fuel pump, red arrow, and the fuel filter, purple arrow, mounted in the fuel tank. Both are held on by six 10 millimeter nuts, green arrows. Remove the nuts and carefully pop off the cover plates. Cover the area around the access cover with plastic sheeting to prevent fuel from spilling all over the inside of the car. It also helps to tape it in place around the holes. On the fuel pump, begin by releasing the electrical connector. Pull the locking tab out, green arrow. As you pull it, it will detach itself from the fuel pump. You'll need to loosen and remove the retaining ring that holds the fuel pump inside the tank. BMW calls for a special tool to do that. But if you're careful, you can tap the ring off using a screwdriver and a small hammer. Shown here is the fuel pump with the retaining ring removed. You'll now need to carefully pry the upper section part of the fuel pump assembly up and out of the fuel tank along with the mating edge, green arrow. Take caution, this part is spring-loaded and will probably pop up with some force. Carefully maneuver the fuel pump so you can access the main pressure line going to the fuel injectors. Pop the brown plastic clip off the coupler, as indicated by the green arrow. Once the brown clip is removed, press the locking tab in, green arrow, and pull the fuel line apart. Now find the black electrical connector for the fuel level sender and press the two tabs in, green arrows, to disconnect it. Now pull the gray fuel return hose, green arrow, up and out of the molded clip on the fuel pump assembly. You'll now need to maneuver the fuel pump assembly up and out of the fuel tank. It will take a bit of time to figure out how it all comes out. You'll need to place it at different angles in order to get everything out of the tank. Be sure that you clear the fuel level float, green arrow, as you pull the fuel pump assembly out. Note the profile edge of the seal in this picture, green arrow. You'll want to have the seal in this orientation when fitting the new pump into the tank. Installation is the reverse of removal. Shown here is a new filter kit for the Mini Cooper and Cooper S. Begin by pressing in the two tabs, green arrows, holding the fuel line into the fuel filter assembly. And then pull the line out. Now remove the retaining ring with a hammer and a flat-headed screwdriver. Next, pull the fuel filter fuel level sender assembly up enough to access the upper cover, green arrow. You'll want to rotate this counterclockwise while holding the lower assembly. Take care not to damage any of the fuel lines or sender parts. Keep in mind it may be difficult to remove the cover. Rotate the cover until you can pull it up and straight off the lower housing. Be prepared for some fuel to spill out. Once the cover is off, remove the old fuel tank seal, purple arrow, and throw it away. You get a new one with the fuel filter kit. Also remove the small O-rings from inside the top cover, green arrow, and also inside the bottom of the filter housing. 
Pull the old fuel filter, yellow arrow, straight up and out of the filter housing. Don't forget the large O-ring that goes on the outside of the top cover. This will probably still be inside the filter housing. Place the new filter element inside the filter housing and push it down as far as it will go. Place the new O-rings both inside the filter housing and also on the top cover, green arrow. Also fit the large O-ring to the outside of the top cover, purple arrow. Place the new fuel tank seal around the filter housing and refit the top cover. It can only go on one way. Once fitted, carefully press the filter cover through the seal, making sure all the mating edges are sealed. Make sure the tang green arrow on the rear of the upper cover fits in between the grooves on the fuel tank, purple arrow. Once seated properly, refit the retaining ring and reconnect the fuel lines. Insulation of everything else is the reverse of removal and expect the car to run rough for the first couple of moments while air is purged from the system. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.